everyone and welcome to another abandoned video finally so today's video is going to take us into a shopping center which is not dead yet it's not but there are many abandoned storefronts many smaller stores still do reside here but many of the anchor stores like the bigger ones have relocated or closed down entirely remember i have an entire playlist full of abandoned videos that i have done over the past year if you haven't checked out that playlist, please check it out. I will try to link a card here that you can click in the top right corner. So let's start out with a little history on this shopping center. In 2005, North Point Center opened just barely inside the city limits of Zanesville with anchor stores TJ Maxx, Dollar Tree, MC Sports, Kohl's, PetSmart, Hobby Lobby, and Home Depot. Several other smaller tenants moved in as well, such as Payless Shoe Source, GameStop, and the Fiesta Salons. This outdoor shopping center had been the latest major retail complex since the Colony Square Mall opening in 1981. So yeah, this center proved to be much more modern and swayed tenants out of the enclosed, really untouched mall, um, including Payless Shoe Source and Maurice's, all left the Colony Square Mall and were like, we are going to this outdoor center that's so much nicer. Over the years, this center has done very well and has housed a lot of big name tenants. However, Retail as a whole has been shaken over the last few years as people are shifting towards online. So in 2017, the first blow came to the shopping center. MC Sports filed for bankruptcy and closed all stores, including the Zanesville location that took up a large majority of the shopping center. An even bigger blow came shortly after the departure of AMC Sports. In 2017, the Colony Square Mall was purchased by a New York firm and with that brought for new opportunities. Very shortly after the mall was bought out, two major tenants decided that they would leave the North Point Center and move into the mall. TJ Maxx announced that it would leave the North Point Center and move into the former Old Navy space, and Shoe Carnival would take also move into the mall and take over the former FYE space. Both tenants moved into the mall in 2018. To make matters worse, Payless Shoe Sorts filed for bankruptcy in 2019 and shuttered all of their stores. Shortly after, Sleep Outfitters closed their Zanesville location along with Fiesta Salons. Currently, 81,208 square feet is vacant out of the 398,139 square foot complex that is available for lease. This gives the Palaza a 79.6 occupancy rate, which is decent. However, with the exception of Shoe Sensation taking over the former Shoe Carnival, all of these spaces have been empty for several years, meaning there's not much hope to improve at this dying rate. So yes, that is some brief background. Now we are going to take a look inside of some of these places and see what the story is over at North Point Center. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is MC Sports, which closed in 2017, and they have left all this up. The outdoor, like, they took down the actual MC Sports sign on the wall, but they left all these, like, pictures out of, like, Nike and people lifting weights. Look, the little MCs there. Um, so, so cool. So they left all this stuff hanging up here. And it's still there today. This actually was filmed a couple months ago, but I went back today and did some more footage. It's crazy how it is. So there are several doors you actually can't see through. They covered a lot of it up, but there's a little peak that you'll see that I will get. They left this door um, totally open, which is so cool. I didn't actually go in. I put the phone up against the window, but yeah, look at that. That's amazing. Now, for the last two years, Halloween City or something, I don't know what it's called, they have um, come in here and... Um, made it a Halloween store over the last few years. So that is something, Spirit Halloween, that's what it's called. Um, they have come in over the last couple of years and done stuff. So, but it's pretty much untouched. No one else has ever come in here and done anything. So yeah, look at that, woods and water. They have all those signs hanging up. It's so amazing. So cool. Yeah, it's untouched. That store is so cool. I love it. So this was the former MC Sports space over at North Point Center. You can see it really good in this part, but they cover the rest of it up. This is North Point Center. This is kind of how it looks on a given day. This was filmed before the whole quarantine thing started. So it was obviously busier because there was stores still open. Um, but yeah, now we're going to look at the Payless Shoe Source, which was vacated in 2019. And all the Payless stuff is still on the, like, they took the sign down. But like, look, the, the door, it's all still up, like, saying what hours they were open and stuff. So cool. It's surreal. I love stuff like that. Payless Shoe Source. Um, I actually saw an article saying that Payless is like coming back with like 2,000 stores. I This one's perfect. It'd be totally open for them to come back. So yeah, that was Payless inside. Um, and it's so cool. Look, all the shelving, everything. It's still just like the counters, all that. It's so, so cool. 
And literally, like, as you notice, anything there, everything, it's there. I thought they would try to sell more of that stuff. Um, the, the pegs that stuff hung on, it, it's just all there. But this, I, Payless, like I said, they were planning on bringing 2,000 stores back. This would be a perfect one to bring back. Everything's set up, and it's definitely one of their more modern stores because I've seen a lot of old Paylesses. All right, now we're going to look at Sleep Outfitters. This closed in 2019 at some point. This was a mattress place um so yeah we are gonna look inside and they um you know there's no merchandise left in there but you know it was a showroom for mattresses so what really could you have but they, they still got the counter up there where they checked people out um and i'm gonna go check in other windows yeah you can kind of just get a better view of it really a unique place um and perfect if somebody wanted to move in i mean not even not just a mattress store but anybody could move in there like so cool it could be offices it could be another store it, it could be anything so it's really the places up here are kept very good and it is a very modern shopping center very very modern so it makes you wonder why people don't want to move in but i don't know i mean retail is just not very good and especially as we're about to come off of this quarantine and stay at home it's going to make you wonder how are some of these companies going to survive you know it, it does like are they going to be able to come back are because a lot of the tenants, most of the tenants up here are actually closed, except for a couple stores, um, a Sprint, a um, PetSmart, and Dollar Tree. Everyone else is closed. So it's, it's yeah, it's pretty rough. Okay, now we're going to look at the former TJ Maxx. It's kind of hard to see through these doors, but I will get better shots in just a second. I got to say, I was really shocked TJ Maxx left this and moved back in the mall, because I feel like this store was bigger. Um, yeah, as you can see, it was a very, really big store. Um, but they did, they moved into the mall in a totally different kind of layout. It's, I don't know. I still like the indoor malls versus outdoor. I feel like outdoor, especially in Ohio or how it's cold and stuff, it can be kind of a pain, but you know, I, I can say I go to TJ Maxx more now since it's in the mall than I did when it was up here. But you know, this was definitely a more modern location and just bigger, um, than the outdoor. More retailers want the outdoor shopping experience is, is what it seems like. But this is like, this is how it looked. It's just like they stripped the, the fixtures and stuff and this is how it looks now and it's so cool. Um, another retailer could easily move in here. I mean, really, it, it'd be easy just to start your store up. Um, I don't know who's going to. Works were originally that a Target was gonna be here is what rumors have been, but I think they backed out of that. So I wish they would come, but you know. Okay, now we're gonna look at something a little bit farther down the road. It is still on North Point Drive. It is Blitz Arcade which has not been closed that long. This was such a fun thing for people in our town and it's really sad that it's gone. Unfortunately, it already looks like a daycare has moved in or something because I did look in the windows because I always do that, but they still have all the Blitz signs up. So I was like, well, why not go ahead and film? So now um, let me kind of give you a background on what Blitz was. Blitz was a locally owned, kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese type thing. It was a pizza shop and then they had an arcade. And here's actually, I went here for like my 10th birthday and we had all these pictures. My cousin and I, like she took me there it was so much fun. Like they had a little bowling alley. They had games. It was like a Chuck E. Cheese. There I am with my prizes. Um, there I am getting my like winner's receipt. Loved that. That was so much fun. And it ended up closing last year because they just said they could not continue to keep it up. They were like struggling to like fix the machines and stuff. And it was just costing them so much. So uh, unfortunately they had to close down. Which really sucks because this was such a cool thing for this community. We don't really have anything like it that this was it. So it really is sad that it's gone now. I did peek through the window to see if there was any like games or anything left in it. And there was not. It's actually a daycare now. They just didn't change out any of the signs. But they do have this pickup window sign. And they did not upgrade this. This is a really cool pickup window. People can pick up pizza. And they have this like paint, like a mural back there. Really actually pretty cool. Um, but that's all I could see. There really wasn't much else because the windows inside were just filled with kids toys. So nothing really new at Blitz, but I thought I'd still show it. And really sad that it left because that was a really fun when I was a kid. I loved that place. Like that was like so much fun. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed those abandoned shops up at North Point Center and the abandoned arcade. That was so much fun as a kid. I hate to see it gone, but that's all I got. Be sure to check out the other playlists filled with abandoned videos. I believe I'm up to 13 now. I think that's what it said. So a lot of really good videos I've done. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you guys so very much for watching.